How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Power Stoke YouTube channel. My name is Austin and today we got something very special for the 5th gen Camaro and it's just outside this door. So, let's go grab it. Ooh, there it is. Alright you guys, so what we have here is the speed engineering long tube headers for the 5th gen Camaro. I am super excited about this. So, my car has developed a very, very bad exhaust leak over the past, I don't know, month or so. And luckily it's right up where the headers are. Uh, it's on the exhaust section. There was a cap that was cut out previously by the previous owner, and that pipe they put in was rusty, so now it's got a nice big hole in it. This will solve my issues, plus it gives me a little bit of performance gain. So let's go ahead and unbox this real quick so we can take a look at them. We gotta hurry, I think it's like five o'clock. I gotta load this in the car and run down to my local shop. We are dropping the car off, I'm not doing the work, and then I'll get back to you guys once it's installed and we can go have some fun. So let's get this unboxed so you guys can at least see them before they're mounted to the car. Oh yes, look at these. All right, you guys, here's the long tube headers for the Camaro. They are inch and seven eighths stainless steel with a three inch collector and the car already has a three inch exhaust. So these are gonna be perfect. I mean, look at these. God dang, these are gonna look so good. Plus the noise and performance gain that these give. So let's go ahead and package this back up, throw these in the trunk of the car. I'll give you a cold start of the existing exhaust. These will go get installed and then when these are on, we're gonna have some fun. All right, you guys, it's been about a week since I had the shop install the long tube headers on the Camaro, and let me tell you what, I'm very, very happy with it. So, I went with the speed engineering headers like I showed you guys. Now, these are the cheaper option out of everything. I have inch and seven eighths headers. You can obviously go with Kooks, Hooker, and there's uh, Tech to Speed. You can go with any number of those. I went with the cheaper route because it's kind of like, I mean, that's my budget, really. I don't have a thousand dollars to drop on headers. So, I thought I'd show you guys something cool. The factory exhaust manifolds on these cars are pretty small. Plus you get to see the sketchy exhaust that was on here. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take you guys for a ride in the Camaro so you guys can hear it yourselves. It's honestly an incredible difference. All right, you guys, so here is a factory exhaust manifold. I just got my nipple. So this here is the factory manifold for a 2011 Chevrolet Camaro. As you can see, the weld is a little uh, sketchy there. It's a little sketch. Kind of blew my mind to see the size of the factory manifold. I thought it would be much bigger on these cars. So enough talking. We're going to go ahead and get the car fired up. I will say this, the car is a lot quieter at idle. This car, man, it just makes me smile so big. I love this thing. So, now that you guys have seen the good of the speed engineering headers, you got to hear how it sounds, hear what it sounds like in the cab. I'm gonna go over what I think is kind of bad about them. Um, 
Honestly, everything has been pretty awesome except one little thing. We gotta pop the hood. All right, so now with the hood popped, let's get my flashlight out here. So you can see the beautiful long tube headers. The only issue that I am having is if you look on this header right here, you can see, let's see if I can get the light on it, down at the bottom, there we go, you can actually see that the header is touching my steering column. Now, for what I'm reading online, this is a very, very common issue with the speed engineering headers. They're cheap and they're cheap for a reason. And I know that, I'm not upset with speed engineering whatsoever. I got a set of headers for under $300 that have changed the entire sound of this car and I feel like it breathes a whole lot better. When I talked to the shop that installed the headers, there was zero issues. They were very happy. They said they went on nice and easy. We actually didn't lose any bolts in the block. Nothing broke off. The only thing I had to do on my own afterwards is after a week, I had to go ahead and re-tighten down the headers. Obviously, that's any header. You got heat expansion. It's gonna pull those bolts out and then they'll finally set all the way. So like I said, the only negative side that I've seen of these headers in the week and a half that I've had them on the car, the fact that the header touches the steering column is the only one I've seen so far. So that's gonna conclude today's video. If you guys are questioning getting the speed engineering headers for your Camaros, please just do it. $300, you get an insane exhaust note. They're stainless steel. I got inch and seven eighths on mine with a three inch collector. The only issue is the steering column. So before you guys install yours, smack it over a little bit, give it a little dent, don't bolt it in all the way, just kind of tack it in place, mark it out, bend it, you're not gonna have any issues. I am extremely happy with my purchase and I would buy them again. So if you guys are questioning it, just pull the trigger, I'll put a link down below. I don't get paid by these guys, I am just genuinely happy with this product and I don't think people need to spend a thousand dollars on headers. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya.